Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and Tech Wrap Craft sent me one of my favorite HTVs. Hey y'all, welcome to Craftable Things. If this is your first time here, welcome. I love to craft all the things. I like to do embroidery, Cricut, sublimation, DTF. I like to do a lot of things. But if this is your first time here, please look around at the content. If you enjoy that content and you find something useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would love it if you would stick around. Also, head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join Craftable Things there as well. For my returning subscribers and members, hey y'all, welcome back. Now, I've opened up some vinyl from them before, which I absolutely love their vinyl, their permanent vinyl. But y'all, today they sent me some HTV. And not just any HTV. Now, as some of you know, I have so many other printers and things where HTV, I still do HTV, but not as much as I used to in the past. But y'all... I will do projects using this type of HTV all the time. They sent me a whole bunch of Puff HTV. And I absolutely love Puff HTV. So let's unbox. Let's see what they sent me. Let's see the colors that they sent me. And let's see what we are going to make with it. Let's get started. Alright guys, so here is what we have from TechRap. So we have some bubble free mirror chrome purple vinyl. Very, very pretty color. We also have military brown and this is also vinyl. We have camouflage olive. Can't wait to see this out. And this is in vinyl. All right, and they did supply us with some transfer tape for the vinyl. All right, we'll look at this later. I'll put this on the side. Now for HTV, they sent me a whole heap of puff vinyl. And so we have it in brown. We have it in coral pink. We have it in Tiffany, very cute. We have it in white. So we can try out a few different designs with different colors. And we have it in black. We have it in burgundy. And this will be awesome, especially if I can get a design for my school colors. And we have indigo purple. And also they sent a little package. This looks like a sample pack possibly. Uh, let's see. So this might be just regular vinyl. All right, so I don't know what this is actually. It's very pretty. It's not transfer tape. I thought it was, but no. This is, so maybe that's just regular vinyl. And this is HTV. No, not HTV. This possibly vinyl. Not sure what this sample stuff is, but I do like it. I sent some samples. And how good are. So now we're inside of Cricut Design Space and we're going to upload our image. This is the image that we will be uploading. Okay, and I just want to make sure that the size is going to be good. And right now it's measuring at 10.738 inches wide by 5.903 inches high. And that's what I intend for this to be. So we are going to select the entire image. And I'm going to ungroup it because I want to move the inside out and let me select the inside over on the panel and we'll move it that way 
Okay, so I'm just going to select both class of and the outline of 2024 and we're going to click attach. Now that I have the 2024, the inside of the 2024, outside of the design, I want to upload the image that we're going to be putting on top. Now, you can do this by putting different pictures inside. I'm just going to put uh, logos inside of the text, but you can certainly put pictures and make it more personal. I'm going to click upload. We're going to go back to browse again. And this is the design. I used this previously for a pair of Crocs. And now we're going to click apply and continue. And we will be using this as a print and cut. So I'm going to upload this to the canvas and we are going to work with this. So I'm actually going to bring the 2024 to the front so that we can place it on top and we can kind of see a little bit better. I'm also going to change the color to white stripes. So the way that it is, not much of the logos are going to be able to be seen in the letters because of how thin that inside is. So I'm just going to shrink the image just so that I can try to fit more of the logos inside. We're going to go a little bit smaller. All right, so it's going to kind of look like a little puzzle, but we're going to go with it, okay? So now I'm going to select both the inside and also the fabric material or the background material, and we're going to click slice. All right, so now that this is sliced, I'm going to move this out of the way. And then we're going to also move that out of the way. All right, so we'll put this right here. And maybe make it a little bit larger so we can see it better. Okay, so as you see, we have our notification here letting us know that the eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper is not going to be large enough to print our design. And it's suggesting this size, but I need it to fit exactly uh, the way that it's fitting. And so reducing it is not going to work for this design. So I'm going to bring the inside back down. I am then going to create a square. So we're going to place it on top. And then I'm just going to put that square on top of the two and the zero. And then we will select both the square and the two, 24. And we're going to click slice. Now that we have that slice together, I'm gonna delete the parts that I don't need. And now we have our design split. And we should be able to print it on one piece of paper now. Okay, so now we're going to head over to make it. We will be using a mat. And as you see, this is going to fit perfectly onto our DTV. Now we're going to select continue. Well, we want the basic cut here. This needs to be mirrored. So we are going to click mirror. Of course, with the print and cut, we are not mirroring it on the DTV because the way that the DTV is, we're going to be printing directly onto the DTV, the material, and we're going to be lifting it off of the backing. So we don't need to mirror that. So I'm going to select continue. Then we will select the Cricut that we'll be using, which today we will be using the Cricut Maker 3. We're going to send our design to the printer. And today we will be printing from an Epson EcoTank 15,000. I am going to remove the bleed. We don't need the bleed. We could, we can keep the bleed, why not? 
And then let's open up the system dialog box. And I'm going to keep the bleed because I really did not calibrate this before uh, cutting. So that will help. All right, and so here is our dialog box. Remember, anytime you have your uh, Cricut Design Space maximized, sometimes the print dialog box will appear behind the screen. Okay, so we are going to click on printer options. And I am going to change a few things under printer options. We want to change the print settings and we, I'm going to use premium presentation matte and we're going to do best quality. We're not going to mirror it. And I want this to be in the paper tray. I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to go to color options and expand the advanced settings. And I'm just going to change this to Adobe RGB. And I am going to reduce it to 1.8 gamma. We're going to select OK. Now we are getting ready to print it out. We're all done and it's time for us to cut this out. All right guys, so I've placed our design on the mat and you just wanna make sure it's aligned up the way that it is in Cricut Design Space so that I can cut correctly. Today we are going to be using the Everyday Iron-On setting with our Cricut Maker 3. is done and so now we're going to get ready and cut the puff final. All right guys so here is the puff final that we will be using from Tech Wrap Craft and the inside of their label has cut settings and times and temps however this particular material is not listed in or listed on the sheet so I'm just going to go based off of other material that I've used before other puff material that I've used and so we are going to be cutting this at the everyday iron-on setting I'm gonna go ahead and remove our DTV we'll get ready to lead that Here, I'm just going to put this up and cut off about, I'm going to leave it here. So I need to at least have about 10 inches. So we'll do about here. get ready to place this back on top. Uh -oh. too long. bubbles and we're going to get ready to head over to our maker.
So TechRep also has the cutest tools as well. So we're just going to weed. The design. Going to... All right, so we're done cutting our puff, and so I am just going to take it off the mat. Should have weeded it on the mat, actually. So there is a little piece here that I can go ahead and save. But I do want to save it. Now we're going to get ready to weed. Let's see, let's weed out our insides first. Okay, it looks like the everyday iron-on setting worked really well. I'm just gonna take it away. I like to kind of get those insides out of the way first, but that's open. Right. So here we have our weeded out puff final, and we are going to get ready to press this. While the heat press is warming up, I'm just going to prep because I want to press the DTV first and then press the pro final. So I am actually going to be cutting the DTV or cutting the, I'm gonna cut. all right. So to help me out, I'm going to use the puff final and just kind of line this up in the center Especially since I want to press this first, I want to make sure that it presses correctly. And so before I apply the transfer tape, I'm going to test this out or at least line it up. That looks like that could be good. So I'm going to get some tape and tape the back. And now that I have this taped together, I'm going to get the transfer mask and apply the transfer mask on top. Okay, so now we're going to get ready to apply the mask. I'm just going to kind of place it on top. I'm going to take our squeegee and just help it out. Now this is the regular TTD mask. I do prefer to use the high tech mask when working with the DTV. All right, so let's see. And this peeled off beautifully. I'm going to place this right on top and we're going to get ready to head over to the heat press. I'm going to press that first, press the second, that's what we're going to get. All right guys, so first up we're going to lint roll the shirt. And then we're going to give it a pre-press for about 10 seconds. All right, that's good. All right, so now we're going to just get ready to line everything up. And I'm going to remove the backing. And so, we're going to bring this down just a little. About right there. It's about three. And 
that looks pretty perfect to me. So now I'm just going to place the insides here. And then I'm just going to place this right here. You may bring it down just a little bit. over just a tad all right so i'm going to move our puff off All right, so let's get ready to press. And we're pressing this at 320 degrees for 15 seconds. I'll bring that back up. And this is a warm peel. And we're going to Peel off the transfer mask. Next up, we're going to apply the puff and we are just going to fit it on top. Just a little bit. If that looks good. Let's go ahead and press. All right. So let's get ready to peel this off and it is looking very very nice all right so that is what we have i'll show you guys a close-up of it So this is a close-up of the shirt. As you can see, that puff final is puffing. I probably had the heat up too high, but overall I love how it came out. And I just want you to notice the S's where I weeded out the S's. It kind of closed back up. So the opening, and it's a very, very small cut there, but just know that if you have small cuts or small parts to weed out, those may open or those may close back up once you press. But for the most part, I'm loving how it turned out. All right, y'all, we are all done. And I am so happy with the outcome of today's project. And I will be making more of these shirts for some of my students. I will also make a different version of this shirt for my daughter because she is also going to be a senior next year. And so I'm excited about this. I love how it came out. The puff looks really, really good. Now, I do think I probably had the temperature up too high, but it's fine. It all came out really, really nicely. I love the tone on tone. And the Caesar DTV was an extra bonus to our project.
I will have a link listed below to Tech Wrap Craft if you are interested in getting any of this vinyl or any other vinyl that they have. They have tons of vinyl, y'all, and I love their vinyl. So I will have a link listed below if you are interested in getting any of this vinyl. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join Craftable Things there as well. But that's going to be it for today, y'all. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time.